Right, tell us what you're drinking. What's yeah, in your so, mug? Yeah, you should start. Um, I've got, got a decaf coffee today. Well, right now, because I've had three this morning, um, and unknown to me until Emily had told me after I had drunk the, the third one that she'd been using Strength 12 Nespresso capsules. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how I'm relaxed right now, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so did you think of a favourite movie that you would, you would watch over and over? You can add to our list for lockdown. Okay, so I'm a bit late to the party and I'm probably going to get really judged for this, but Harry Potter I've only really watched since Christmas. I've heard of a lot of people that are kind of discovering things like that, so no judgment here. So I literally, and Emily hates, even though Emily loves Harry Potter, she really hates me at the minute because I literally put it on whenever it's on. Um, and I've seen, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix is probably my favourite book. And the other is so Har Harper Prince and the others following. Probably about ten times each. <laughs> so I'm the party of Harry Potter. So now I actually set like safe facts of the films to Emily and she just rolls her eyes at me. <laughs> and another one that I love and I will forever just put it on is any of the Shrek ones. So if we're feeling a bit like in bed and we're like, oh, let's just put something feel good on, we'll put one of the Shreks on. It's a good jam. It's, and you've picked ones as well that have more than one movie. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly. a lot easier to watch them. By the time you've got through them all, you're like, I've probably watched the first one again now. I feel like it's been long enough. Exactly. So I've never left my theories behind those films. I obviously have favourites, but they are the ones that I seem to be watching over and over again. On the reg. Yeah, you can never get bored of Donkey either. I love Donkey. Exactly. Desert Island question. Okay. Three things you couldn't live without. Okay, so I was trying to, I was saying this to Emily yesterday, she kind of laughed at me. So I said the speaker, yeah. right, an iPod, and I know that shows my age, but I, would, I can't take my phone. So I'm thinking maybe an iPod or iPod shuffle of some sort. Yeah. Music and cheese yeah no I, I would totally understand that cheese yeah no i get that totally <laughs> if it's 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 the headphones that'll be one. Oh, maybe yeah. you're up a bit with an extra thing with your cheese so i thought because if it's loads of green on the island they normally have like potatoes or some sort of yams cooking i imagine like a baked potato or well, I'd have to find fire, but <laughs> that could be like after I'm like expert level, like dead. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have like jack of potato with cheese. I feel like you could put cheese on a lot of weird stuff that you'd have to end up eating on an island just to make it taste better. It'd be great. Exactly. Good job. Yeah. So, diving choice. Some weird fish. Yeah. Some weird, creepy looking like vegetation that's probably poisonous. <laughs> Bit of cheese on top. Yeah. yeah, you're willing to take the risk with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good one, right? Because we found some really good Spotify playlists that have been keeping us going uh, while we're working and finding lots of new songs. But that one song that brings back loads of memories. Okay, can I give you two? Yeah, you can, yeah, of course. Okay. Um, so the first one is um, Justin Bieber, and I can get the, the... This is from a Welsh camp. We were in Cyprus. Um, and some of the girls will obviously know straight away. Um, is this one? Yeah. Okay, so this one, we used to sing at the back of the bus. It was like every day, if we were feeling rubbish, we would all just put it on the speaker and everyone would just like start singing, like all the older ones especially. Um, and yeah, it just always takes me back to like some really good Welsh camp memories of some of the girls that have obviously retired since then. And yeah, that was one of the best, what probably some of the best camps that I've had um, with that song. Um, and okay, maybe I've got three. I'm going to say three. <laughs> and then I've got, so the last campaign with Wales, everyone will know like how well we basically outdid ourselves and whatever. Um, and it was James Bay's Best Big Smile. 
So we'd all be in the changing room before the game and everyone would be like hitting on the walls, hitting on the on the change room um, the doors, the benches, and we'd all start clapping and singing along. Um, so that one was like always played before kickoff, um, which is quite strange to do that. Normally people tend to be in the zone, but that was our way of getting in the zone. And the other one is probably Fleetwood Mac, um, probably Dreams. Um, just reminds me of on holiday, um, we went through a phase of listening to Fleetwood Mac every single day. It's now become one of my favourite albums. So, Rumour. That reminds one. me of like sunny times, you know? Yeah, yeah, Rumour is a great album. Yeah. Um, did you think of someone who would play you in a movie? Um, so, I thought about this. So obviously they would need to be really funny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, obviously. Um and I'm gonna I couldn't remember her name. I'm gonna probably think I'm a bit mad for choosing this person. I really like Wanda Sykes. Okay, yes. So I think she would be really funny. Yeah. I know obviously my skin colour isn't the same, but she could portray me quite funny. I like even funnier. Yeah. yeah, super quick, super witty, like quick one-liners. Yeah, and like quite, or maybe it was either it was a mix between her and Sandra Bullock. Oh, she's she quite funny too. Doesn't take herself seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's obviously better looking than I am. <laughs> and she's what fifty something even now. But her in Miss Congeniality is just brilliant. Yeah. That is a really good mix, actually. I feel like that, that does something up quite well. Yeah. Yeah, good shout. So, uh, we would like to meet your dog. So, or oh, Emma's dog. I can like, we'll get him for you. Uh, yeah. Is that, that, is that... I'll, oh, actually, I want to take you to him. Uh, well, it's not my dog. So, I obviously adopted this dog when me and Emily got together. Um, I always say it's the son I never wanted. Um, okay. So, He's currently in his basket. Oh, look at his little face! He's like, why have you woken me up? <laughs> his name is Professor Snuggles. Oh. Um, but we call him Snooey as a nickname. He doesn't really listen to any of it, but... Hello! Oh, he's such a cute little Excuse face. Me. Guess when all this has ended, I think we probably touched on it at the beginning. Like something that you've probably learned from it? Yeah, um, I would definitely, for me anyway, the biggest thing is um, appreciating my family and friends and probably trying to make more time for them. Um, it's quite hard as a football player to be wrapped up in this little bubble of a routine of just training, like staying in the zone and then you're feeling tired. But given the excuse you haven't got time um, because, well, you have, but you're just feeling a bit rubbish because you're just knackered. Um, and just, yeah, just making more use of my time and probably, this is probably what it feels like to retire, so I don't want to retire anytime soon. Uh, and yeah, I've just applied to do a master's and doing some other courses online. So yeah, for me, it's, it's been two big things is appreciating my family and friends and, and Emily and obviously the work she does and trying to be more efficient with my time that I have. Good one. Good one. Yeah, I think we can all we'll all come out with a lot. I think from the time. Yeah. So what, what is time? It's giving us a pause on on life, which yeah. we wouldn't have had. So it's it's good to see the inside. Well, thanks so much for having a couple with us. It's been really nice. No, thank you very much for having me. It's no, a lot of my football minutes of my day. Oh. <laughs> I'm in mean, my busy day, but. I thought it'd be nice to just, and it shows like how easy it is to still catch up with people even if we can't see them. Yeah. They're all like, connect. Connect, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. I really enjoyed this, so thank you very much for having me. Yeah, no problem.